What's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy. And I am here with another reading. Welcome to my channel. To all my guests and subscribers, I love y'all. Thank you so much for the continued support. This reading is for the collective. It is a love reading for all signs. So tap in. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell if it resonates. And even if it does not, because it won't with all. And that's cool, too. But let's get into it and find out, y'all. Hey, y'all. What's going on? I'm here with a love reading. It will be timeless. Okay. And um, why? Well, no real reason. I just like being in y'all business. Okay. The last love reading was so juicy. <laughs> we finna check in again. Okay. <laughs> We're... I'm all up in your business and I know you don't mind because you're here to see what's going down. So I have no agenda. We're going to just do a love reading. We're going to ask spirit what it do and see where it takes us. Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is the energy for this love reading today? All signs, collective reading. Okay, spirit. This is about serenity. Okay, and it says embrace serenity's refreshingly peaceful energy and vibration. And we have nurturing. And it says keep your inner child nurtured and you will thrive with vitality. So I'm not sure what that has to do with the love reading just yet as far as um, love. Right? But I do feel that with love, right, you can... There's a need for serenity at times. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like spirit wants you to find a safe space, nurturing your inner child. Maybe not allowing your inner child to navigate what it is that you're doing. Perhaps your inner child is holding you back from finding the love or allowing love to find you, accepting love. You know, these are all things that a lot of us struggle with because really and truly, a lot of our trauma dealing with love goes all the way back to childhood. So we're going to get into it. And I'm sure once we get into the message, it'll all tie together. Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is the message for this love reading? Tell us about what's coming towards us for love. What is coming towards us for love? Give us the message for love. Give me about two, one more. One more card if you can, Spirit. Thank you. Oops. One second, y'all. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here in regards to love, we're holding on to a lot, right? And I think it's, again, that trauma. That's why if you want to bring love into your life, you need to let go. You need to let go of all the things that you're clinging on to that you feel are worth it, right? Because this man's holding his pentacles. He's holding all of his worth. They're under his feet, it's on top of his head. He's holding one close to his chest. You can't, he has no room for any, anything new, right? You, you can't accept love carrying all of this baggage. And if you cling on to these things, then how can you accept more? There's, he can't move, right? He can't move. He can't go anywhere. <laughs> and I feel like that's what spirit is saying. And, and it's, it's also confirmed by this card, right? The Eight of Cups in Reverse. Many of us are having trouble walking away from it, letting go of the past trauma, the past pain. Spirit needs us to become the star, allow the transformation to occur. And the transformation will occur by letting go, allowing yourself to feel the serenity and peace. Allow yourself to have the understanding that love is on the way. Nurture yourself. 
and that inner child that is craving the love that you desire. Once you heal these aspects of yourself, you will become the star. But at this point, I feel like spirit is 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 pointing out that you're not necessarily blah blah blah. You're not necessarily seeing the whole truth of your situation and circumstances. You're not accepting the gift of this time of healing, right? And letting go and releasing. So you still got a lot of work to do. Let's see here. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. Yeah, look. Ace of Cups in reverse. You're not seeing the gift of this. You're not you're not able to cross over and 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 really prepare yourself for the love that spirit has for you. Right? The door is not open because you're not seeing everything clearly. You're not facing everything. You're still trying to hold on to things that don't serve you. Let's get let's do I'm going to do the chakra deck and see what happens here. Let's get some clarity on this reading, on this love reading for the collective spirit. What do they need to know right now? You're confused about a lot of things. I feel like maybe you go back and forth a lot about how you want to move forward, what it is that you want, what it is that you desire, right? And, and out of confusion breeds chaos. That's why spirit is telling you to find yourself in a serenity place. Allow yourself to nurture your, your inner child. Because that's what's going to give you the vitality. That's what's going to give you the healing. Clarify. Yep, finding balance. Finding balance within yourself, despite what it looks like to anybody else. Even if it is a significant other, if you are in a relationship with someone. Or even if you're on your own and you just need time to yourself in order to balance yourself. It may upset people that you're putting yourself first, putting your desires per first, and putting your needs first. But who gives a damn about any of these people? Give me one more card, Spirit. Some of you are just plain old afraid of, afraid of rejection. So that's why you're clinging on to things, because you've been rejected before. But you have to understand that your, your, your rejection is your redirection. So even though you may have thought or believed or wanted things to work out with a particular person, if it didn't, that's not spirit rejecting you. That's not love rejecting you. Right? That's love redirecting you. Let's get some um, romance angels in the business and see what they have to say about this. Well, I didn't ask a question, so I'm not going to take that one. Spirit, clar <laughs> Spirit clarify this love energy. Romance angels, we call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What else do you have to say about this love reading? Right? Letting go of control issues. Right? That may be a part of the reason why things didn't work out with you and your person if, or haven't been working out with you, for you in regards to the aspect that is your love life. You know, you got to allow this to unfold in a natural way. You cannot control others and you cannot control the situation. You simply have to have faith, be your best self, and allow spirit to guide you. Many of you have been calling in your soulmate. And it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So this is a good thing. Spirit says it's time for you to open your heart and call in that soulmate energy. Call in that person that you love. What else, Spirit? Be playful. Get out there and flirt, right? To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine. That could also be another reason why spirit is saying to be nurturing, right? Allow yourself to be playful. Allow yourself to recapture romance in that way. If you're with someone, allow yourself to get into that flirty behavior that brought you guys together into the dating scene, you know, and um, 
try to recapture the romance if you're single allow yourself to be playful when you're dating you know don't take it too seriously and allow your your spirit and the energy and your angels to guide you give me one more card spirit romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like some of you have met someone. I feel like some of you um, are with someone, right? And spirit, or have met someone or are with someone. And spirit wants you to really investigate and, and um, tap into what you're feeling and allow yourself to feel them. They're real and worth exploring. Explore it. Be free. Don't be afraid. Don't allow a rejection to, um, of the past to stop you from a possible beautiful future with someone new. Spirit, give us some clarity on this love reading energy we're seeing here for the collective. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, procession, learn from the past and make memories. Right? So Spirit is saying, I feel like for those of you who are really in your love, like you're looking back, I feel like you're reminiscing, you're, and, and that could be good or bad because I feel like that's what's bringing up the feelings that, that you felt of really clinging on to that past because you don't want to be hurt again, because you don't want to fall too hard, right? Like you're reminiscing and you're, you're looking at pictures of maybe, maybe you came across some pictures of some old photos of you and a past love and it, it, it created all these feelings inside of you, you know, but you don't have to let that stop you. Look at this heartbreak. Many of you have experienced a heartbreak, maybe recently, maybe before. That's what has you clinging on to this energy. You know, you deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, right? But remember, your rejection is not, it, it's your protection, We also have keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Perhaps you're heartbroken because this person may have, you may feel like this person has many options for some of you. Maybe you got too attached to something that was really just, you know, a one night stand, at least for that other person. But spirit wants you to be lighthearted like the butterfly, right? Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. So things are really coming to light for you right now um, in, in certain aspects. I think about yourself, about your relationships, um, of your past, and really figuring out what it is that you want for your future. And spirit says here with the coffee cup that you will get the closure that you need soon. Right, because the coffee cup is like meeting and conversing, and savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and even friendship. So you may get a lot of clarity, and it may, even though it may not be what you want it to be or what you thought it would be, spirit is working with you and through you to have you see that all lessons, even the ones that hurt us, can give us something. And I feel like that's what this is going to give you, right? It's going to create that, this, this star card energy that we saw at the beginning of the reading. I, don't know, I can't take this. Jeez, these nails, right? It's going to prompt you to rebirth, balance yourself out, release yourself from confusion and rejection, and allow yourself to be in a place where you'll accept love, right? So I'm going to get... A card from the daily um, from the um, daily guidance angel deck. What is your divine message for this reading? What is your divine message for this love reading spirit? Spirit says there's nothing for you to worry about. The angels are saying there's nothing for you to worry about when it comes to your love life. You are safe and this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to you and through you. 
right? So there's nothing for you to worry about here. It's okay for you to love. It's okay for you to allow yourself to put yourself back out there. Don't allow your past to dictate your future. Don't allow yourself to feel like because things didn't work out with a particular person that that's somehow a reflection of you and your worth and, and your true, um, and the true fact that you are deserving of love. Okay. So I'm going to leave the reading right here. I'm going to do more readings. So look out for that. I love you. I believe in you. And y'all got this. Talk to you soon.